Hello friends, today we are going to calculate the support reaction of given two span continuous beam using minimum strain energy theorem or we can say that the Castigliano second theorem for the indeterminate structure. Now observing the given two span continuous beam, we have at support A as a hinge, B and C support as a roller. So now for using Castigliano second theorem, first of all we have to select one redundant reaction from the given beam. So, assuming that vertical reaction at location A as a redundant as now using this redundant reaction we have to first find out the RB and RC in terms of RA by using three equilibrium condition which is sigma H0, sigma V0 and moment at any location equal to 0. So, let us take first sigma V equal to 0 we will have vertical reaction at RA, vertical reaction at B as a RB and vertical reaction at C as a RC which must be equal to total downward load which is 10 into 4 of UDL load. So, it is 10 into 4 and 30 kN downward load so plus 30. It means that our total reaction at B and C which must be equal to 10 into 440 plus 30 as a 70 minus redundant reaction as a R. using next equilibrium condition as sigma moment at location C equal to 0 and treating clockwise moment as a positive then at location C R A into total distance 8 in clockwise direction which is clockwise so 8 times R A now due to the R B it is 4 into R B minus due to UDL the total load is load into distance and CG distance from location B is 4 by 2 and from C it is 4 plus 4 by 2 and due to the due to 30 kN load it is minus 30 into 2 which must be equal to 0. Now solving this mathematical term we will have Rb which must be equal to 75 minus 2 times Ra and we have Rb plus Rc which is equal to 70 minus R A. So, let us put the value of R, R B as a 75 minus 2 R A. So, 75 minus 2 R A plus R C which must be equal to 70 minus R A and the reaction at location C which is equal to R A minus 5. So, we will have R B is equal to 75 minus 2 times redundant reaction at A and R C which is equal to R A minus 5. Now using these support reactions we have to find out the moment in sectional part as now going for the section in between A to B segment we have the section as shown in the figure having the total length as a 4 meter. Now assuming A is a origin and sectional distance of span A to C from the support A as a X then moment in this section which must be equal to now due to the R A, R A into X is generated in clockwise direction and sign convention says that the clockwise moment in left hand side and anti-clockwise moment in right hand side which is treated as a positive and R A into X is positive and due to the 10 kN per meter UDL it is 10 into X into X by 2 in anti-clockwise direction and it is negative. So, total moment is R A X minus 5 x square in span A to B. Now taking the section B to D and taking a D as a origin then section is look like where we have taken a D as a origin the sectional so sectional distance from D is as a x and D to B as a 2 meter as given in the span. Now we have calculated RC as a RA minus 5 and using this sign convention if we take the moment at this section then moment in span B to D which is equal to RC into X plus 2 in anticlockwise direction and in right hand side anticlockwise is positive. So, it is RA minus 5 into X plus 2 and 30 into X in clockwise direction. So, it is negative as a 30 into X due to this sign convention. So, in B to D segment our moment is minus 5 into X plus 2 minus 30 X. Now, going ahead for the third segment of the given beam as a D to C beam 
which is now in between d to b if we take the c as a origin and sectional distance as a x then according to our sign convention anti clockwise in the right hand direction is positive hence it is r a minus 5 into x as a moment in c to d segment so thus we have to first assuming redundant reaction after assuming redundant reaction we have to find out the rest reaction using three equilibrium equations and then we have to select the segmental part of given beam and find out the moment in different different section now let us going ahead for castigliano tabular form of moment and partial derivation as now for a to b segment we have assumed origin as a, a limit of the span is given as a 4 meter moment of inertia for all the beam is taken as a i and moment we have calculated as a r a into x minus 5 into x square similarly for next segment as a b to d where the segmental limit is 2 meter we have taken d as a origin and moment of section is calculated as a r a minus 5 into x plus 2 minus 30 into x and the third segment of the given b is as a c to d where we have taken c as a origin total segmental limit is given as 2 meter and sectional moment is r a minus 5 into x so from the segmental part we have calculated the moment as shown in the tabular form now let us going ahead for the partial derivation according to the Castiglianos second theorem as now according to the Castiglianos theorem at location A at where the total deflection is 0 due to the support we have the total minimum strain energy as 0 and mathematically it is written as 1 by EI integration over entire limit sectional moment multiplied by partial derivation of the sectional moment with respect to redundant so our redundant is r a dx must be equal to 0 for each span so it is mathematically equal to span a b plus span b to d plus span c to d so we are going to calculate the strain energy in each segment using this mathematical equation now first of all looking on partial derivation which is sectional moment with respect to r a so our partial derivation is del m x by del r a so for a to b span partial derivation of this moment with respect to r a so r a into x as a x and phi x square as a 0 due to the partial derivation with respect to r a similarly for the b to d span we have r a multiplied by x plus 2 hence our del m x by del r a is x plus 2 now minus 5 into x plus 2 there is not any r a and minus 30 x also r a is missing and the total partial derivation of raised term is 0 and for c 2 d segment r a into x hence our partial derivation is x and minus 5 x as a 0. So first of all we have to calculate the moment at section and according to Castigliano second theorem we have calculated partial derivation. Now going ahead for the first strain energy in segment a to b and according to this mathematical equation we have limit of the segment as a 4 meter so it is 0 to 4 sectional moment is r a x minus phi x square and partial derivation is x now solving this term we have r a into x into x dx as a r a x square and minus phi x square into x dx as a minus phi x cube dx now integrating this term with respect to dx we have now x square dx integration as a x cube by 3 and phi is constant x cube dx integration is x raised to 4 by 4 and limit is given as 0 to 4 now closing this limit we have upper limit is 4 so x cube by 3 as a 4 cube by 3 minus 5 into 4 raised to 4 by 4 now solving this term we will have strain energy in a to b segment which is equal to
21.33 RA minus 320 divided by EI as a strain energy in A to B segment. Now going ahead for the B to D segment, we will have uh, according to mathematical equation it is 1 by EI integration of 0 to limit as a 2 meter. Now moment as a RA into X plus 2 minus 5 into X plus 2 minus 30 into X which is multiplied by partial derivation as a X plus 2. Now solving this mathematical equation we will have R e into x plus 2 into x plus 2 as a x plus 2 whole square minus 5 as a constant x plus 2 into x plus 2 as a x plus 2 whole square minus 30 x into x plus 2 dx. Now x plus 2 whole square as a x square plus 2 a b plus b square hence it is 1 by e i 0 to 2 now x plus 2 whole square which is a square plus 2ab plus b square similarly for raised term as a now x into x as a x square and 2 into x as a 2x. Now integrating this term with respect to dx we have ra is a constant now x square dx integration as a x cube by 3 plus 4 into x dx as a x square by 2 plus 4 into constant dx as a x. Now phi is constant x square as a x cube by 3 4 x as a x square by 2 plus 4 constant as a x minus 30 is constant. Now x square integration is x cube by 3 plus 2 into x as a x square by and limit for entire span is 0 to 2. Now closing this limit we will have now x cube as a 2 cube by 3 as a 2 is of upper limit plus 4 into 2 square by 2 plus 4 into 2. Now minus 5 is constant x cube by 3 as a 2 cube by 3 plus 4 into 2 square by 2 plus 4 into 2 and minus 30 is constant x cube by 3 as a 2 cube by 3 plus 2 into 2 square by 2. Now solving this mathematical term our strain energy in B to D segment which is equal to eighteen point sixty seven RA minus two ninety three point thirty three divided by EM. Now going ahead for the third segment of given B strain energy in C to D segment which is equal to 1 by EI. Now limit of this segment is 0 to 2 multiplication of RA into X as a RA into X minus 5 into X as a minus 5X as a moment and partial derivation is X. Now solving this term we have RA into X into X DX as a RA into X square minus 5 into X into X DX as a 5 X square DX. Now integrating this term with respect to DX. X square DX integration is X cube by 3 and X square DX as a X cube by 3 and limit is given as 0 to 2. Now closing this limit we will have 1 by EI as a constant RA upper limit is 2 minus 2, 2 cube by 3 minus 5 into 2 cube by 3. For solving this term we have strain energy in C 2 D segment which is equal to 2.67 RA minus 13.33 by EI as a strain energy in C 2 D segment. Now from the above calculation we have calculated strain energy in AB, BD and C2D segment as, as given in the equation 
Now we know that the total strain energy at location A is 0 due to the total deflection at A is 0 and we have assume RA as a redundant and according to superposition we have to summing up all these strain energy with respect to AB, BD and DC. So let us summing up the all value we will have total RA from 1, 2 and 3 as a 42.67 and total constant value which is equal to 626.66 and EI is constant from all the term and this total strain energy must be equal to 0. Now solving this term we will have RA or redundant reaction which is equal to 14.68 kilo Newton. So from Castigliano's second theorem we can calculate any redundant reaction as a selected reaction and through these redundant reaction we can calculate the race reaction as as we calculated the RB which is equal to 75 minus 2 times redundant reaction as a RA and our RA value is 14.68 hence it is 75 minus 2 times 14.68 as a 45.64 kilo Newton. So, so our total reaction at B which is equal to 45.64 kilo Newton and race reaction which is RC and RC value is RA minus 5 and RA value is 14.68 minus 5 which is equal to 9.68 kilo Newton. So, the reaction at location C is 9.68 kilo Newton. So, thus we can calculate all the support reaction of given two span continuous beam which is an indeterminate beam using the minimum strain energy theorem or Castigliano's theorem. Thank you.